Okay, now I wanna switch gears a little bit and we've talked about kind of impact of media in general. I wanna look at one specific impact and it's uh, called the mean world syndrome. And it, it's part of uh, George Gerdmer's cultivation theory. Cultivation theory. People who watch lots of TV believe that the world is meaner and more violent than it is. Well, why would they think that? Perhaps it's because there are more acts of violence per minute on TV by far than anywhere in the world. This is sometimes called the mean world syndrome. I could, you could also call it brainwashing as far as I'm concerned. So who are we afraid of? If we watch lots of TV, who do we become afraid of? Foreigners, anybody who's not from our village, people who dress like terrorists, and I should put that in quotes because it depends on who you perceive what your schema is of, uh, regarding terrorists. Arabs, Hispanics, blue collar workers, African Americans or Caucasians, it just depends on who you are. Basically, we're afraid of anybody who is consistently portrayed as someone mean or bad on television. And if you look at kind of the portrayal of criminals and people who do bad things, then all of those groups that we looked at show up more often as bad people than the percentage they represent of the population. So here's an example of the impact of television. And this is, this is a true story. I was talking to somebody who was sitting in the Dubai airport when they, this experience happened to them. They're sitting in the Dubai aer airport and a significant number of people were of Arab descent, many dressed in robes. Well, that's not surprising. They're in an Arab country. But this is the thought that occurred to this person. This is what they wrote anyway. I have been brainwashed by TV and the media in the United States. I can see it now. All of my stereotypes are coming out. I feel like I am in a movie about terrorists. Well, that's uh, cultivation theory. That's mean world syndrome at work. Oh, I'm sorry. I repeated it there. So TV creates and cultivates skewed schemas. It's not just TV. But why are TV and film so effective? And actually, I would include anything that has visuals because we believe that it portrays reality. We're back to this seeing is believing. According to Reeves and Nash, they have a media equation in which they contend that the mind has not evolved to automatically grasp that what is portrayed is not real. So intellectually, we can tell ourselves that what's on TV is not real, but our mind actually doesn't believe it. So that's kind of the traditional media and kind of the impact they've had. Now you introduce social media, and this was really the focus of the forum. I wanted to try, start thinking about how social media, and by this I'm looking at things like um, Facebook, I'm looking at, uh, in a way, the internet. Though you, It is mass media. It's still social in the sense that you can communicate directly through email and things like that. So one of the impacts is that our society from which we draw norms and schemas is not restricted by borders. It is harder for traditional media to cultivate skewed schemas. They can't control the flow of information. And this is something that I was trying to get at in some of my questions to you in the forums, is maybe in our country that's not a big deal. But if you look at a country with repressive regimes where they're trying to control the flow of information and they have probably been successful for a long time, suddenly social media comes up and they can no longer control the flow of information and people are basically becoming aware that they've been fed a pack of lies and that the norms that the rest of the world practices or believes in are not the norms in their country. So what happens? Well, they are not as easily controlled anymore. This tends to foment things like rebellion. Now, I need to temper this with social judgment theory because you cannot, I think, eliminate this concept that if something is outside of our zone of tolerance, particularly if it's our zone of rejection, 
we don't pay attention to it. So if we're sufficiently kind of uh, brainwashed or you know, we have these skewed schemas so embedded, and when I say brainwashed, uh, and perhaps that's too strong a word because I know people shy away from it, but to me, when you've got a significantly skewed schema, then you, know, you have a problem looking at reality. Key points, cultivation theory. It's caused by repeated exposure to a skewed schema. It's not restricted to a negative schema. That's what I've talked about, violence, and that was what Gerbner was talking about when he was focused on. But certainly you can paint a bright picture all the time and create a positive schema, but it's also skewed. All media play a role, particularly TV, film, video, anything where you're looking at pictures. Because again, we believe that what we're seeing is real. Social media, the big impact of social media is because it can bypass the filtering mechanism. So, you know, the uh, people cannot control you through traditional information sources anymore or not control as much. 